I'm in casino. I found Wild Soul Bakery. So I might go up and try one of their pies. Like the new hat. I was in the bottle shop in Kyogre the other day buying a cheap bottle of plonk. I said, you want a free hat? Yeah, why not? You never had too many hats. Anyway, let's go find Wild Soul Bakehouse. Just over there on the corner. Wild Soul Bakery Plain Pie. Let's have a look. The top looks nice, nice and flaky. Base seems reasonably firm. Uh, well, top just lifts off. That's just the flakiness. And see there, that's all been perfectly sealed all around. This very flaky puff pastry on top. Anyway, I will give it the point for being sealed because it is still sealed there. Okay, have a taste. Puff pastry is incredibly crisp and flaky. It's great. Dropping crumbs everywhere through my car though. Base pastry, it's cooked. I'll give it that point. Not bad tasting pie. But, a tad bland. I'm gonna give it two points out of three for the flavor. Could do with more seasoning. Meat content. Pretty good, I'm gonna give it three out of three there. I'll give it the point for the temperature, it's hot enough. I would prefer it hotter, but it's definitely hot enough. flavour. So we've got the point for the pastry being cooked, which is a nice change these days. We've got a point for it being sealed, one point for flavour, three points for meat, so that's six. One point for the heat, seven. Not a self-destruct pie, it's got the structural integrity, even with that loose flaky top. That's the point there. Wild Soul Bakery, five bucks twenty for the plain pie. Eight out of ten. Just needs more seasoning. Crumbs everywhere. Oh well. On to the next one. Been having a bit of a rethink on this one. Not sure if I'm doing the right thing, giving it the point for being sealed when really the pastry is beautifully flaky. That just lifts straight off. Just left a very one very thin layer of pastry on over the top. Is that really sealed or not? So I'm gonna take that point off it. Wild Salt Bakehouse. Now seven out of ten. <laughs> 